this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. So here is a look at how I added the Imagine vocabulary to Word Power 108. Um, I kind of have created like a 108 basic where I added extra simple support. I imported the early books and most recently have added the Imagine vocabulary. Um, I looked through and that imaginary vocabulary is also missing from Word Power 80. Um, it's it is available in Word Power 60 Basic. So I'm gonna head over to here and groups, and you can see it's not available here. So I'm gonna go into edit page. I'm going to use this extra page button and rename that Imagine. And I remember seeing that the symbol for that that they used was Fairy Tale. Whoops, it would help if I spelled it right. Fairy Tale. And so there's what you're used to seeing on that button. And then for right now, let's see, let's go into navigate, navigate. I don't think import was there, hold on. So right now I'm just gonna save that as it is I'm going to head over to this menu button, third up from the bottom, import and copy pages. Import another page. And this is why it's important to know where it is. And so I know that that is in Word Power 60 Basic. And I just made a copy of that. this one and I'm going to type in imagine and I need both of these both pages import okay so done now I'm going to go back over to my imagine button edit this button scroll down to your button action and navigate Imagine, no animation, save, done. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to that page and you can see that it's sized differently. Um, you could go in and change that under edit page, menu, edit page layout and you can make it match by I think it's nine rows by 12 columns I think let me look really quick I took a picture of it earlier on my cell phone <laughs> so I could remember what that grid size was Nine by 12, yes. Okay, so nine by 12, and then here's what happens when you do that. It squunches everything up, and so then you would, you could drag it around to spread them out a bit rather than being squunched up. I'm not really gonna attempt that right now, so I'm gonna go back into edit page layout and I'm going to change that back to the 6 by 10 that it came with. Um, I am going to go ahead and edit this. I have no idea why they have her as a princess. She is not a princess. So I'm going to edit that while I'm here. And I'm going to switch it to that 
differences. Okay, and so this second but button goes over to that. Okay, so I'm going to go back and try it out again. Groups, imagine, and so that's as easy as that. If there's things that um, that particular child or family doesn't want visible, like I've worked with several families where these would be an issue, you can go into here and you can toggle them where they're not visible. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle off the visibility of those. Done. Okay, that made a black spot. Black spot. So let me go back into edit page, menu, uh, edit page, layout. Background color white, save, hmm, let me see if I can remember how I did that. That may need to be on the page. No, it's the background color. This one always stumps me a bit. Okay, edit, page, menu, page style override, I think is where it is. Background color, white, save, done. Okay, so page. So you can see those buttons are still there. If you know for sure they're never going to want to use them, you could delete them, but I tend to hide them uh, as a first step if a family is really not wanting something visible. And so again, where I found that to make them white is that page style override. I changed the background to white. Save, done. Boom. As easy as that. Um, I know folks are going to ask, so I was going to take you back to this. I created this as a way to be able to try out different uh, vocab file sizes without having to go back into the usual vocab menu and so you can kind of see a preview of what they are so I can toggle quickly between things here so I can easily get over and I can take a look at all kinds of different things so that's just something that I created for ease of navigating but back on this word power 108 um, I wanted to show you what else I added under groups and read um, these early books um, I imported um, since those are very commonly read in early childhood settings. Trying to make it where I wish they offered out of the box a Word Power 108 basic, like they do a Word Power. 60 basic where it has more symbol support and there's really no reason that a young child as long as they had good vision and fine motor couldn't start with something like this so that was my main purpose in creating this and wanted to show the way that you can import content from other vocab files.